Hi everyone, today we're gonna take a tour of my equipment closet, so let's go. The reason I wanted to do this video is because a lot of times we show up to shoots with one or two carts full of equipment and people are always surprised by how much stuff we bring with us. And when I used to work from home, I had my computer right here and I would do Zoom calls and clients could see all the equipment behind me and it was always a great talking point. They always wanted to know more about what was going on. So we wanted to give you just a little behind the scenes of all the things that go into a shoot besides just the cameras. So come on. The way I have everything organized is that the stuff I use least often is at the top because this is the hardest for me to get to. And then everything on this shelf and below is kind of what I use most frequently. These are all our battery chargers. You can see there are a lot of batteries, different batteries that need to be charged. <laughs> so there's a lot going on here. These are our bandanas that I gave to our clients for Christmas presents last year. This stuff actually stays in our equipment case most of the time. This is a adapter that makes the camera vertical, shooting vertical or horizontal. Memory card case. And of course the blower for the lens. I usually keep all the batteries in here, but I have them displayed for you guys. Here is a bunch of, I'll show you. Allen wrenches and various tools that I occasionally need to tighten equipment, do random stuff. Here are all the various tripod plates. And then here's my battery situation. I keep charged batteries on top and uh, empty batteries on the bottom. So when I come back from a shoot, I'll empty out the uh, bag and empty out the case and put all of the batteries that need to be charged down here, get them on the chargers, and then they go in here when they're done. On the third shelf here, we have a monitor, an external monitor. We have all of the audio cords that we use that are XLR cords, quarter inch, and we have lots of different lengths. Then we have our slider equipment. We have a level because keeping a slider level is super important. Um, various cords in this little baggie, and we have a remote for our slider. Over here we have on-camera monitors and the HDMI cables that go with those. And then this is all of our audio equipment. So we have an external audio recorder, which is for when we can't plug a mic into the camera. We have an external source that we can record audio from. And then this is our boom mic bin. So we have our mic in this little baggie. We have a dead cat. This is what this is called. It is helpful for when it's super windy outside. It kind of breaks the wind noise. And then we have, this is called a saddle. So on movies, you may see people holding the boom mic like this. On set, we don't have a dedicated person to hold a boom mic. So we put this little saddle in a stand and the boom pole can sit inside of it. That way nobody has to hold it. And then we have all of our lavalier mics, which I'm wearing right now, which you see, um, and cords and things like that here. Okay, so the bottom two shelves here are just cases, basically. We have my drone, some backpacks, and a small little Pelican case. Okay, last but not least, the cameras. We have three cameras. One of them you don't see because it's being used right now, and one of the lenses. This is what's called a cinema camera, and it has a lot better audio outputs than, say, a, a little mirrorless camera like this. So we use it for interviews, we use it for educational videos where there's a lot of talking and audio is very important. This is an older version of the camera that's being used right now. And we use both of those for B-roll and for second cams when shooting interviews. The one that's being used right now is my favorite little camera. I wish I could show you. But it is a great picture. It's great for run and gun, on the go, handheld. We also use it on the gimbal. I love it. This is just an older version of it. We also use it as a third camera or as a backup camera. This lens is my very favorite lens. It's a 24 to 70 zoom lens. So it has a wide range for the focal length. It also has a low aperture, so you get that really pretty bokeh effect. And we use it for everything. I use it for interviews, I use it for shooting behind the scenes B-roll just because it's so versatile and it has a beautiful image. This lens is a 9D and it is a prime lens, which means it's only one focal length, it's 90, that's it. 
Um, it's also a macro lens, so it's cool for shooting close-ups of you know small details. Um, and I often use it for the side camera on interviews because it's a really pretty kind of portrait look. This lens is not my favorite lens. It was a kit lens with my cinema camera, and I it's an 18 to 105 f4, so not a super low aperture, and it's just not very sharp. So I never use it anymore. I don't think I've used it since I got my camera. This was the very first lens I ever bought, so some sentimental attachment to it. It is a 50 prime lens, and it has a 1.4 aperture, which is super, super wide, has great bokeh, and it's a manual focus, which means it's kind of difficult to use now that we're used to autofocus. But in the beginning, I did everything with manual, which is pretty crazy. And I still like using it occasionally now for certain situations. This lens is also an older lens that I don't use as often because it's a 28 prime lens. And the lens that is being used on the camera right now that's recording is a 25, so they're pretty similar. And that one's a much sharper, better image. So I just have this one as a backup. I should probably sell these that I don't use, but I'm not good at selling them. <laughs> Up here and down here, we have some decoration with some cameras that are actually family cameras. And um, this one's a Polaroid that we use for fun occasions and for birthdays and stuff like that. We'll put it out at parties and just have people take photos that they're able to take with us, them or leave with us. And it's super fun to have. And then we have down here, this is a Canon AE-1. It's a little film camera that we have as a family and we use it on trips, on vacations, and we also just play with it around town as we're out and about. And it's super fun because we send the film off to be developed and then get it back. And sometimes there's stills on the roll that we haven't thought about in months or even a year. And so it's always fun to get the developed film back. Okay, down at the bottom here, I have two lights, one of it which is being used right now as we film. And we have more lights downstairs that we'll go show you. Now we're downstairs in our actual closet. And this is where we keep all of the big stuff so that it's easier to load and unload. And it's not as pretty looking, but that's okay. It gets the job done. Starting down here, we have a couple more cases that have lights in them. We have some tripods, some tripod cases. We have soft boxes are back here. Um, and then I just have some random stuff, like this is a magic arm. I use it to put the camera in difficult places. So if you saw some of the behind the scenes of the Albany Park shoot, we put this on literally on a staircase rail to be able to shoot down into the room below. Um, here, this big case holds C stands, which are these big metal stands that hold lights. Moving up here, is our slider case. This is our boom pole. And this right here is what's called a knuckle. It goes on the C-stand and you can put different elements in here. And if you go all the way up to the top, these are all the boxes. Actually, I don't even think these are all of them, but these are a bunch of the boxes that are for my equipment. They're all empty up there. It's been a source of tension for me and Jordan because he doesn't understand why I need to keep all of these empty boxes. And they used to be up in a closet upstairs, but we agreed that they could go down here and not take up as much space. <laughs> so this closet didn't always just belong to me. We used to have like all of our coats in here and other things that we would store, but it just got to be kind of a pain to like dig through everything to get the equipment and Jordan finally gave in to just give me the whole space and it's been awesome. <laughs> and these are just kind of the things you have to do when you own your own business. I mean, as you can see, having a film production company, you have a lot of big equipment and you need space for it. So this is how we make it work. I have one more thing to show you guys. So we're back upstairs for one last thing and that is my big Pelican case that I pack everything into and it's got wheels so we can easily wheel it to and from our locations. And that wraps our tour of the equipment closet. Please let us know if you have any questions over any of the items that we talked about. Thanks so much for watching.